In this lecture, we're going to learn what makes our app tick in the background. Where do we put our Swift code? So we're going to take a good look at the View Controller class. Open up your project and follow along. With our main storyboard open, let's select our view and change our background back to default. And if you recall, you have to select the Attributes Inspector over at the top right corner. So we're back to our plain white screen. Save that and head over to your viewcontroller.swift. Now this viewcontroller.swift is the file that dictates what's going on inside of that view controller in the storyboard. And how do we know this? Well, if I click my main storyboard and I select the view controller, so I select this little orange widget at the top of it, and then over on the right-hand side, I select this class inspector or identity inspector. Down here, we have a custom class called a view controller. And what this is saying is that I am going to apply this class of view controller to the current view controller in the view. And that is this view controller.swift. And there we have our class name. So that's how those two are paired. It's how Xcode knows where to go look for the relevant code. Now you'll notice this class of view controller inherits from UI view controller. UI view controller takes care of all of that layout, all of the functions that we need, all of the properties that we need that come with creating a view, which is a good thing because we really do not want to write those thousands of lines of code ourselves. Okay, what if we wanted to change the color by code? And that's a common thing you might want to do if a user wants to change the theme of their app via color. This is where you would do it. Inside of UI View Controller, we have this function called view did load. And that means all of the view, all of the graphical elements, the buttons, whatever you've got, have been loaded. And they're ready to display to the user. They haven't been shown yet, but they're ready to go. And inside here, you typically do more setup of your program. So inside here, we can access that view from our storyboard and change its background color. And the way we access it is by referring to self, so the instance of this class, dot view, dot background color. And then we can make this equal to a UI color of red. Nice and simple. So it's going to assign red to our background color. I'm going to hit play and let's see if that does what we need. Now remember, we currently have a screen which has a white background and when it loads, we get our red background. So you have learnt how to modify colors that are embedded inside of elements and you've also learnt how this view controller class is connected to your view controller in the storyboard. And those two things, those connections, are really the basics of all app creation. It's just learning how to connect those two things and applying the right code.